Hello dear friends, in this video um, we will tackle a problem with uh, constellation work that uh, is quite common and I will uh, offer a solution for it in a short uh, visualization or meditation if, we so, if you so wish. And the problem we are going to, uh, to confront today is that in many cases the effects of constellation work is, does, do, do not persist. It is like, taking as an example family constellations, you finally find the right place, your rightful place in this system. You have given back all the burdens and tasks that do not actually belong to you. Every generation has found uh, their own places and uh, taken on the responsibilities to resolve their problems uh, with themselves and each other. And you are finally free. You feel this wonderful stream of energy coming from your ancestral roots. You are allowed to be just a child in uh, respect of your family, of your ancestors, of your parents, grandparents and so on. You have given away, given away all these uh, or given off all these um, positions and the representations of, uh, of members of the family that haven't been acknowledged the way they should have and so on and so on or crimes that have been committed in the family that needed to be acknowledged and dealt with in the right way. So you have your ancestral energy roots behind you, you're looking forward into your own life finally free from, from what doesn't appertain to you. You finally feel for the first time maybe in your conscious life to be in your own power, empowered to live your own life. And you think, wow, that's it, that's it, uh, I, have, I have solved it. And there are cases actually when this is and this is true. There are constellation works uh, where this actually one session in a group, one constellation work uh, actually affects the whole system, affects the rest of your life in most positive ways and the problem is solved once and forever. In the majority of cases though this is not the case. Bert Hellinger himself has said that in the majority of cases the soul slips back into the old pattern and cannot um, sustainably uh, hold on to the results of what the constellation work has shown because it is a representation. It shows something. First it shows what, uh, what is toxic in the system what is not in its right place, whether it's family, whether it's a company, whether it's uh, parts of your own personality that are not in harmony with each other. And from there on, the session should uh, find a solution, should uh, put uh, things in their right place. And then, what then? You have this feeling of relief, of uh, salvation, maybe even of uh, uh, freedom. But there is your old self-image, your old definition of yourself, which you have nourished for many, many years and maybe decades. And as humans, we are animals of habit. We need a definition of ourselves. We need a self-image. We need something to say, this is what I am and who I am. And only very few have reached the level of mastery where they do not need to have a definition of their ego and can just live in 
the groundless space of spontaneous present being in the here and now. Only very few are actually able to do that. So when you have nourished for years and decades feelings, I am a failure, I will never succeed, uh, all the life is always a burden, it doesn't have to do with me, but to survive I have simply to go on with blah 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 blah. Chances are quite great, as just said, that uh, you will slip back into that once the constellation work and the first ecstasy and the first feelings of, of freedom and, uh, and relief are over, because you are not able to keep that level of attention which you have had during the constellation work, which is very normal and very human, throughout the rest of your everyday life. And then situations come when uh, some stress is triggered and you slip back into your old self-image, into your old pattern. And after two weeks or three or maybe four, everything is as it was before. And then you can do another constellation work, which is very good for the business of therapists like me. But it's not <laughs> what, uh, it's not the scope, it's not the aim of what, uh, of what we are, what we are heading towards, so what, what, what's the intention of, the, of it. So my personal intention is to make people as quick as possible independent from me and have them stand on their own feet and to use their own energies and their own competence to deal with their lives. Yeah? So what can we do to, uh, to, make, uh, to make constellation works sustainable? or their effect sustainable. What I usually advise to do in after constellation works, whether in groups or individual, is a certain procedure of anchoring, which uh, I have adopted from another method that I'm using, which is script work, which is about uh, rewriting, uh, modifying, your subconscious image of traumatic, traumatic experiences which have coined you, which have coined your uh, view on life, yourself, on relationships, uh, on success, whatever, uh, which need such an anchoring. And we can use the same method for constellation work. I will now guide you through um, this through a little visualization, but since uh, each of us is different and has different uh, challenges to cope with, I have to choose as an example kind of an archetypical um, situation or uh, constellation which is the ideal outcome of a uh, family constellation work that uh, has worked out, so to speak, that has found its, its goal. Maybe, I hope so, this uh, little meditation or visualization will uh, help you in certain respects because uh, it will uh, remind your soul or your subconscious or your higher self. Well, higher self doesn't need to be reminded. So your subconscious on what uh, your right position within the family should be. Um, maybe afterwards you will need <laughs> some further work on this with uh, the counselor or therapist uh, of uh, your choice. And, uh, but uh, I do this to give you just an example and you use this method for any kind of therapeutical breakthrough of uh, something new you have uh, learned about how you could see the world, how you could see yourself uh, after a process of transformation so that this process has an, an 
a persistent effect on your life and doesn't need to be repeated over and over again. So, this said, uh, I just want to add that it is uh, crucial for this uh, process of anchoring to reach its goal that you are quite consequent in doing it. So one of my trainers once said, yeah, you do it at least two weeks or maybe three, but then you shall see under a certain point you will forget about it. And that's actually the point when you don't need it anymore. This might be the case in some cases. In my case, it was not actually, because when I started to forget about it, it was actually the point when I started to lose contact with that feeling, contact with that new energy, that new self-image that arose from, from the work we had done together. And so I would just uh, encourage you, just when you get aware of, oh, I have forgotten doing it. So is it really that this new feeling, new self-image, new image of the world, new image of relationships, new image of positions within your family or company system, has taken so deep roots in you uh, that, that you don't need to, to save them or anchor them any further? Or is it maybe that just that is the point when you start losing contact with the effect of the work that you have done? And that is actually when you should go on. And you can, at a certain point when you feel uh, like it, you can slide it out, fade it out like doing it only second, every second day, every third day maybe. And the criterion whether or not you have really taken in the medicine is always if this new energy of healing and freedom and relief really pervades each and every of your bodily cells. So the effect of the work must be rooted in the body, which is the home of our emotions. They are also always connected with physical feelings and symptoms. Um, so uh, please go on with it, go on with it until you can really say that uh, wherever you stand and go, you can recall this feeling, you can recall this new experience as your new image of yourself, of the world, of your relations with it. So, this said, let's start. At first, as usual with uh, all kinds of meditations and visualizations, I invite you to just sit with a straight spine, a spine that carries itself by itself, and uh, turn your attention to your body and your breath. And let your breath become deep and natural. It's very helpful to relax your jaws and to relax the root of your tongue, which very often blocks the influx of breath. Jaws and tongues are like the portcullis of, to our of our personality, as under Alexander Lohm had called these blockages. And opening them up really opens the space, opens the road for the breath to go deep into your belly, which is its natural course. And when you have uh, found uh, your breath, so to speak, and you sit in a way that is comfortable, nothing is hurting, so maybe you can wave your spine like up and down a little bit. So nothing should hurt. You should really feel fine when sitting like this. And then you take a deep inhalation, as deeply as you can. Take as much breath in as your lung can take. 
And without a break, without an interval between in and exhalation, you breathe out, 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 until the last, the very last bit of, of breath is gone away, has left you. And there is this little dot, 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 dot of nothing. And then by itself, the in-breath comes just by the triggered by the under pressure that is in your lungs when you have completely exhaled. Did I already say please close your eyes so that you can better concentrate on your body and your breath. And you repeat this procedure. You take the breath, the, your in breath is as, as deeply and fully as it can be. And without a pause, without an interval, without some stop, you immediately exhale and you exhale all, really all that you have taken in until the last drop or bit of breath. And then this little pause takes place until the next inhalation comes naturally and by itself and you make it again as fully as possible. And while doing so, especially while exhaling, you visualize yourself like going down, like in some sort of chimney or elevator, down into the very center of yourself, of your being, to the very roots and grounds of your being. to a place where you feel really safe, where you feel at home with yourself, a place where you perceive maybe some kind of a quiet light, which in my case is a golden color or goldish color. But be, let, yet let yourself surprise by what's coming up for you as the color of light that is yours at this present moment. And you're now in what I would call the alpha state of mind, where alpha waves in your brain prevail. And now I lead you into this say archetypal solutions is solution uh, constellation of some systemic family work yeah. so you imagine yourself standing in front of your parents in this case from your perspective the father is on the left hand side and the mother is on the right side would you turn around, turning your back at your parents, it would be the other way around. But for now, you visualize your parents in front of yourself and you visualize your grandparents behind them. Again, the grandfathers at the right side, behind father and mother and the mothers, the grandmothers at the left, oh, sorry, at the fathers at the left side from your perspective and the mothers on the right side. And then you say to your parents, you may feel also like having a little package or maybe even a brick or a heavy stone in your hands, holding that in your hands and you say to your parents, what I have, whatever I have taken on from you as a role that is not a child's role, as a fate, a destiny that is not mine, as a representation of something that you would have needed to acknowledge in your own being or in the ancestral line before you. 
all that I have taken on from other members of the system who have not received the acknowledgement that they need to receive and is rightfully theirs according to the laws of family systems. All that that I have carried, carried in your place and tackled with in your place I give it back to you laid to your feet because it is not mine I cannot solve it because it isn't mine every generation has to solve their problems within themselves and each other the members of the same generation I am just a child. I am just a little one. I cannot carry it for you. And I give it back to you with its full impact. I leave your fate and your destiny with you. And feel what that makes, feel with you, feel what kind of uh, emotions, what kind of uh, bodily feelings that, that uh, triggers in you. It might be a great relief. It might also be something that you feel I have to work with this more intensely and more directly. but. Uh, for the purposes of this short visualization, I would, uh, I would suggest and invite you to simply go on to make you understand the principle. Then you say to your parents, and now having given back to you all that does not belong to me, I take you as my best parents with all that belongs to it. With all that you have given me, which was a lot, and with all that I have not received from you, although I would have needed it so badly, I take you the way you are, and I accept from you the greatest gift ever given which is my life itself. And I take it at the cost of all that I have not gotten, of all the little and greater traumas that I have received, which is my destiny and which is my life, which I have to cope with. And you are my parents the way you are with all your perfections and imperfections. You have given me my life, and therefore I honor you eternally and unconditionally. You might want to bow before your parents. You might even want to ask them for their blessing, so that you can go on with your life in your own responsibility and freedom and your own power towards your own goals fulfilling your own being your own unique configuration of divine qualities And having done so, you turn around and sit in front of your parents, looking forward, not towards them anymore. Now you have turned your back to them. And you feel how it feels to just be the little one 
respect to them. To just be the child and nothing more, nobody more, no wrong places, positions, representations. In respect to your parents, they are the big ones and always will stay that, always will remain your parents and you will never remain, you never become bigger than they are, you will always be the small one, even if you might take care of them when they have gotten very old and frail. You are always the small one. You are receiving from them and from the grandparents behind them and even further back the ancestral lines. They have taken on their responsibility for themselves. They manage their own problems with themselves and each other's other and you are free. Feel how it is to be relieved from all these false burdens. Feel the relief, the blessing, the relaxation, this deep feeling of healing that you have found your right place in this system. And when you feel like it, when this has been rooted in you deeply enough, you can also stand up, still having your parents in your back as your ancestral roots of energy, looking forward into your own life, into what you want to ac accomplish, into what your soul drives you towards to realize, to manifest, to be. And feel maybe for the first time in your life to be really in your own power. And empowered to be in your own power. And this feeling now, let it pervade every cell of your body with each breath, breath you take in and out. This feeling of being free from undue burdens, free to be yourself, free to live your own life, but also responsible for yourself, fully responsible for yourself. of taking and accepting your past and what you had taken on from your parents but now given back. Yeah. Accepting it as part of your life, as part of what came with the gift of this life which you have now solved and it is this feeling of relief and healing in each and every cell that you need to come back to for quite some time after a family constellation work to make it sustainable, to slowly erase your old self-image and deeply root this new way of seeing yourself, the world and so on in your being so that it really becomes your nature, which at a certain level it really is and always was. Now we can slowly, taking this feeling with you, come back to the room where you are sitting, taking a couple of breaths to use the elevator <laughs> that brought you down to this deep place within yourself, 
And now you take with you all the treasures that you have found there and bring them back to your everyday life, your situation, wherever you are right now and whatever comes next in your life, like cooking or going to sleep or having a little rest or a walk or whatever, or play with the children. <sighs> yeah. When doing this after, in the aftermath of a constellation work or any other kind of uh, therapeutic work where you have had a breakthrough to a new experience of yourself, then of course you will not repeat all the process that brought you there, except you need it. It might be, hopefully will be enough to just recall this last image, this last position of being in your right place, of feeling with each and every breath in each and every cell, how it feels to be relieved of false burdens, of having found your true place, your righteous, rightful place in this system, your true power, your true sense of personal, uh, of uh, responsibility. And that may take you maybe five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening. Yeah. But as I said, don't uh, let go of it too quickly. Be patient and take it as far as it needs to really become your true nature, your true new identity without uh, the danger of slipping back when certain situations that would have triggered your old self and your old patterns uh, turn up in your life. So, I hope this helped you. Till the next time, have a good day.